what's up youtube um i'm back with another video um i hope you guys are enjoying these um but this video is a little different um this video is going to be a market recap it's not really going to be a, a trade recap i did not trade today um i shut up there was a lot of nice moves there's two moves which i really liked um there has been news um there has been news uh let me check forex factory real quick I'll show you guys the news there has been um, a lot of um 10 a.m news lately that have been i guess uh messing up the market structure and it's also like peak time of when i'm trading i usually trade from like anywhere from like 8 50 realistically 8 50 to like 11 a.m so that 10 a.m candle as you can see we had um ism survey we had a pmi at 10 a.m um we also had um cad news at 9 45 um i don't really think that affected gj that much and then um, tomorrow, we don't have news at 10 a.m. So tomorrow is probably going to be a day. I'm going to take a trade. If I win, if I lose, no idea. But I will trade tomorrow. Um, just these 10 a.m. news have been um, kind of affecting my market structure. And um, low-key have been scaring me a little bit, right? So it's going to be a market recap. It's not a trade recap. I know it's hindsight. You know, don't start hating. Don't be on my ass. I know it's a trade recap. I mean, I, I know it's not a trade recap. It's a market recap. I know it's hindsight, right? um so yeah um i did have these um i did have these marked out already i had these marked out um i had this one marked out in the morning when i woke up um i'll, and I'll tell you guys why i didn't get in um i had this marked out before i went to the gym or as i was on my way to the gym on my phone actually and um, i had this marked out also when i woke up uh when i was looking at the charts okay so let's get started right uh we're on gj um, let's go to the 15 minute that's where we always you know we wake up we see the charts on the 15 minute uh let's start with gj obviously we're doing gj i always go to gj my first option if i could just um see something and you know dissect something on gj we stay on that right um it's been really good this week uh i'm two for two this week um i have two trade recaps if you guys want to go check them out um so yeah we're sticking with gj so far uh so we woke up right woke up we see this order block right we see that we're in a bullish, right? Obviously, we could tell we're bullish, right? Um, another big thing is that we have this order block, right? And then, like yesterday, if you guys haven't seen that recap, go check it out. That was actually a trade recap, a trade I took. Uh, we never break, right? We never break straight to the downside, right? Like I said, it's just wicks, right? It's wicks, and then we make another low. We make another low, correct? We make another low, and we don't break it, right? We don't break it at all. Not, we don't break it, and we don't break it. So for me, that's telling me like, okay, that is, uh, we have our structure. I'm still bullish. We have our bullish structure, right? Um, so this is where I kind of messed up, which not really, but, um, I don't trade news candles and, uh, this is a news candle, right? Uh, the 15 minute we have the, oh, I messed that up. What was I? Okay. Here, right on the 15 minute. I have this order block right that I'm looking at we respect the structure and I'm like okay there's an order block I'm looking at right here we tap it fire right but the bad part is that we had news at 10 a.m. remember I showed you guys we had a red folder at 10 a.m. we had a um, PMI right so I was scared I was like I don't want to get in right I love it I love this trade it and it's crazy right the like we in this channel we talk about alignment right we have um, an order block that aligns to a breaker on the five minute, and that's beautiful, right? Could have tapped it, gone up, right? But I was scared of the news. I was scared. It was like, I was confident it was going to shoot up, but when news candles, like, they'll dump and they'll go up, like, they'll just wick you out, right? So I was terrified of that, um, right? So the, the, the entry would have been, um, right? I could have, right, easily seen the, this impulse move up and um just had my targets up here or here right i could have my targets up here and then just put my stop down here would have been like a one to three and yeah i probably would have taken out it would have been nice but this huge one minute candle right this huge one minute candle is just a news candle and I'm, i'll probably never trade that um i could have right could have made money but could have hit my trade but whatever Second setup of the day, right? We had two setups today, so it was a really nice day to trade. Second setup, right? We go up, we hit the order block we had, we 
touch the highs, these highs, this is like the TP I had planned on. I hit it perfectly. Um, hit the highs. We had it gone up, we had it dumped. I felt, I, was, I had this marked out, this order block right here, because I'm like, we're probably going to tap, dump a little bit, retrace the breaker block. As you can see, we have a 15 minute breaker block. We have a five, it aligns with the five minute breaker block, and we have an order block in the 10 minute. So, um, we have the order block on the 15, we have the order block on the 10 aligning, and we have the five minute breaker block. This is the entry I could have done. I was at the gym. Um, I'm trading on DX trades, so I can't really do it on my phone. You can, but it's really annoying. I didn't want to just do it and uh, be undisciplined, right? So what's the entry here that we could have done, right? We fall into our, um, our breaker block on the five minute, our order blocks on the 10 and 15 minute. What is the one minute respect, right guys? This is what we talk about on this channel. Each time frame respects its own thing. So we're like, okay, let's see on the one minute what we're respecting. We're getting in the one minute. We want to see what it's respecting. It's respecting this fair value gap. Obviously, we see this huge, this beautiful imbalance, right? We wait for the move up. We wait for the market to tell us, okay, we're making the move up. We're picking a volume. Boom. This beautiful candle right here. This is telling us, okay, we're making the move up. Time is now. You know, let's hop in this. I was telling one of my boys is, when you get up in a move like this, right? A lot of people might put their fucking, I don't know if I could curse on YouTube, but whatever. Uh, put, put their stops, right? Right below this um, level we had, which was with the order blocks. And yeah, your risk reward is, is not the best. So I was telling him, bro, once you just get the move up, right? Once you get the volume, just put it right under the candle closure, right? You have so much space. You have, you have so much space to work with. You have a 9.4 stop loss. And then just target the highs. Target the highs we had. And um, it actually gone, It actually went up a lot. We had barely any volume, and then we were about to hit it right now. Those were the two entries I saw. Um, again, very easy market structure. Very easy entries. This is how it looked in the five minute. Would have gone around here. Never really went any drawdown. Just had a little consolidated a bit, lack of volume. But then we're finally pushing up, and it probably will hit. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, again, I'm not a professional trader. Don't hate. You know, I'm just doing these for fun. Um, I learn out of these. You guys, hopefully, you guys are learning out of these. Maybe there's a beginner trader somewhere and they look at these and they learn a little bit, right? Maybe they get hooked into it. So yeah, guys, this was a market recap. I'm gonna be doing these the days I don't trade. Um, every day I do trade, um, and every other day I'm gonna try to be just doing market uh, market recaps or video recaps. I mean market recaps or trade recaps my bad um i'm gonna be, tra be trying doing this every day every other day i'm gonna try to stay as consistent as possible but um man i hope you guys like this video um go check out my tiktok my tiktok is at ale so a l e underscore shorts i believe and i'm posting little clips there let me yeah ale i don't know if you guys can see that Go follow me on TikTok. I'll post there too. I'll post just clips of the video. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like, comment what you thought about this trade, about this market recap, not trade, market recap. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, guys.